to in the second half. That yeah, was the third quarter in a nutshell, you know, and, and uh, they came out and had three straight scoring drives and, and we had some three and outs and, and uh, I got to put our guys in a better position too. We got, we got to make some plays that are there, but at the same time, you know, I, I got to be accountable for that and put us in some better spots. But, um, you know, we, we played the game how we expected to be played in the first half and then uh, weren't, weren't good enough in the third quarter. And that's where it got away. How about uh, when everybody started losing their cool a little bit? Do you feel like the officials lost control of the football game at any point? Yeah, I'm, I'll just I'll have to go to the next question on that one, Dave. Yeah, I understand. I mean, what what um, how do you how do you prevent? I mean, it's a tough situation. It just, it turned into something other than football. I'm sure the league will not be happy about what it turned into. What, what did you tell your football team after the well, game? I mean, I'm proud of the effort they gave. You know, and and they they're playing hard and um, had some calls go against them. You know that that we'll have to look at to be quite frank, but. Um, you know, I thought our guys were playing hard and, and got put in a tough spot there. Coach, only uh, 30 yards of total offense in the second half. Uh, what was happening there that caused you guys to struggle so much offensively? Well, just first down efficiency right out the gate. You know, two, two first down runs that put us in second 11. And then I think we were in first and 10, second 11, third and 11. Um, you know, the first two drives that half. And that's where they captured the momentum. They went down and, and scored a touchdown and then kicked a field goal. And uh, to go up what would have been 16 to seven at that point, and we had two straight three and outs there. And that, that's unacceptable on our end. What did losing Tyler do to your offense and how did it affect it? Well, it's, it's a challenge. I mean, they, they played man coverage about every single snap of the game. And so you need your best receivers out there. But um, again, they, they lost a good corner as well. So we both lost guys. Zach, did you, did you talk to Brian Flores at all uh, after the game? And if so, uh, kind of what was said? Yeah, we'll, we'll keep that between us. But, but yeah, we're good. It looked like the uh, in the first half, the short passing game was paying dividends for you, you know, particularly the outside, the tight end screens, the receiver screens, you know, the throw to Boyd. It seemed like you were attacking that area of the field pretty darn well early in the game. Yeah, we, we obviously left three points on the field there in the first half that we should have had. Um, you know, so I, I, whatever we had, four possessions, maybe we should have had 10 points in the first half and uh, just left points on the board there. But we were playing the way that we expected this game to be played. They needed to continue on at that rate, and we just didn't do that in the second half. Coach, what do you say to, to Mike Thomas after back-to-back -back penalties there? Well, uh, we'll watch the first one, first of all. Mm -hmm. uh, and then the second one, he got there a little too soon. I mean, that, that's, that's obvious. We know that. Um, but, again, that, that returner is a, is a heck of a returner. That's the number one punt return unit in the league. Um, he does not fair catch the ball, you know. And, and so you've got to put pressure on him. Of, of, of course, we don't want to do it before, before the catch point. We want to play within the rules. But – um, our guys were playing hard. It was unfortunate. You hope he's, he's fine. Um, but again, there's no ill will there by Mike Thomas. I can promise you that. He's just, he's just being a gunner and trying to go down there and make a play. They called personal foul on the first one. Did they say that he hit him in the head instead of getting there early? Or what was the call? I, I don't know what they said. I don't know what they said, Dave. They didn't explain anything to you? No. It, it, sometimes they explain. Hey, Coach, should there have been another flag? I mean, Boyd get flagged. Boyd get flagged for 15. Should there have been another flag? Should they have been offsetting? That's not what they said. Did they explain that? that? You... Did they explain that well? Because that was obviously a confusing sequence. Yeah, that's a very confusing sequence. Um, two guys got ejected, and there was one flag thrown. So that's all there was to it. They didn't. Uh, obviously, you saw the first push that started the whole thing. I mean, how did they think Tyler Boyd fell into all the people that he fell into? I guess there, there was a lot of eyes on the situation. I was right there. I watched the whole thing. So there was a lot of eyes on it. To have a game that kind of unravels like this and there's fighting and there's it's just all a mess. Do you do you, people are gonna say it looks like you've lost control of the team? What do you say to people that say it looks like you've lost control of the team right now? Well, I, I think our guys got put in some tough spots, you know, and um, you know, those are two core guys that got kicked out of the game, Sean Williams and um, and Tyler Boyd, you know, and, and again, uh, we don't ever want that. We don't ever want to throw a punt. We we need those guys. We're counting on those guys. Um, and, and everyone's gotta maintain their composure, myself included. Um, so we just got to look at what happened, but, but it was, I know they were both very frustrated with what was going on, you know, and Sean got hurt there on a, on a blindside block and, um, TD felt like he got hit way late out of bounds, you know, and, and so, um, but again, we got to maintain our composure and be better than that. Uh, did something unforeseen happen with Darius to go into the game with only three cornerbacks or, or was that by design? He was sick. He was sick.
Did none of the practice coach? squad guys travel? I'm sorry, did none of the, the squad, so you couldn't call anybody else up because they weren't right here? It. Yeah, I mean, it was um, – no, we weren't in a position with, with the way that the enactors were working to get another guy up there. Jalen Davis was up, so we had the four – we had the four safeties, we had the four corners. Um, that's how we played the game. Coach, is, that, is this – Go ahead, Lab. Is this game a uh, an example of uh, the retaliator is always going to be caught, never the instigator? It's always the guy that retaliates. I think our focus needs to be we got to play better when we're on the field, you know. And and again, uh, that's that's what frustrates me the most is that you know two weeks really we we played the first half how it, how the game's going to need to be played. There's going to be ugly games sometimes that can come down to to a late score to see who wins and. Uh, we just we were not efficient enough in the third quarter and in and really all three phases there. Um, put ourselves in a position there how we didn't want to play the game in the fourth quarter, particularly on offense, dropping back and throwing the ball and gave up some sacks there and just we put ourselves in a tough spot. You know, Zach, last year that, that game against Miami, you know, probably even a loss probably had y'all feeling that y'all were going in the right direction. What what do you feel like after a loss like today? You know, frustrated. I mean, the, the work that we put in and um, the way we feel when we walk on the field to start the game, uh, and really, quite frankly, the way we walk into halftime, you know, the last two weeks. And uh, just, just it's frustrating when these games, um, you don't pull them out of the end. It's very frustrating. Any indication yet how serious the injuries are to Jonah and Brandon? I don't. I, I do not know that yet. Yeah. One last question. Anyone else? All right, Coach. I get, Sorry, go I ahead. Did, I, I guess at this point, Coach, you know, it might be early, but – uh, Hogan, uh, you know, I, what, would, what would be his status and, and how far along might he be? And do you have to go back into the quarterback pool again, potentially? We're not there yet. You know, we'll, we'll evaluate all of our players after this game and, and make those decisions, but we're not, we're not there after, 